Hi everybody. I thought I'd film a little flip through of um, a journal that I just, I think it's done. I'm not sure, but um, I wanted to uh, look at it and I've got a little bit of somewhat fresh paint there. So I'm just putting a piece of paper over the top of it so that it doesn't get dirty. And I didn't consider when I did this, I just made marks. I didn't think about covers or anything like that. And I don't know if I will cover it. So ignore that for the moment. Uh, this is the inside of the first side, and it's just experimentation with line, basically just line, really, when I look at it. And I have to say, I am always so interested by the white of the page. I, and I think that's what really I really like about this. It's spontaneous, it's raw. Uh, it's not overthought, it's not overworked, it doesn't have a lot of layers. I mean, there are, I guess, three layers there, but they're not really tremendously overlapping. But I find it fresh and exciting. And so you'll have to let me know what you think. Now I'm just gonna page through it. I did come in in some spots with some white paint or some gesso to break up some of the black lines because they got a little heavy in places. This is a challenge for me not to put too many marks down to begin with. So this was part of my objective with this journal was not to go overboard with the marks to begin with. And when I did that, I became so excited with the results and what happened. And these could become, I mean, I could conceivably see any of these become paintings on their own right or launching points for other paintings. I don't often do that though. I don't work from sketches and things like that. I work very intuitively on canvas as well. But I might come back and look at this, like look at this one and say, this is not something that I would do, right? Everything that's happening in this almost is right in the center of the canvas. And that's not something I would do. The um, vertical um, thrust here, which is really kind of what's happening here, there's a fairly strong vertical. That happens quite a bit as part of my visual language. And this is really, you know, there's a lot of activity right here, so I'd say maybe this is the focal point, but this one has sort of an all over focal point, which is also kind of unusual for me. So it might be interesting to take that to a canvas and see if I can recreate the freshness and spontaneity that really appeals to me in these on a larger work. I could also take it to paper and um, try and keep my marks minimal. Maybe that would be a good way to go. Paper always to me seems a little bit less um, precious than uh, than uh, canvas, so it's a little bit easier for me to take risks on it. And if I tried something like this on a piece of paper and it didn't work out, I can always paint over it, keep painting, keep painting, painting, painting until I get something I like. It's a little bit heavier than the rest of the the uh, book, and yet I like it. It works. As a U-shape, that happens quite frequently too. Here it happens again right here. See, so we keep looking for these repetitions. These are the things that happen unconsciously in our work that are interesting to just notice. Maybe someday I'll ask myself what that means. And maybe it doesn't mean anything, I don't know. Side one and side two, make sure I'm still on here. Is the light all right? Okay. I love the, it just feels vulnerable to me, particularly this right here, these marks. Uh, this is, in case you're wondering, and you probably are, unless you know them already. Let's see, where did I put them when I organized my studio? They are... Here they are. Art Graph, Taylor Shape Water Soluble Graphite. And they are amazing. You can draw with them dry, you can, and then wet them or not, you can draw with them 
dip them in the water and draw with them. That's probably how I made this mark, was to dunk it in the water, and you can see how it dries as it goes along. Get all sorts of really cool uh, shapes and images with that tool. As you can see, I broke things up there. This was an interesting vertical, and it was heavy right in the center, so I decided to break that up a little bit. Same thing happened here. I had a big glob right in the center, and that makes things um, a little bit more stagnant, less exciting. So I broke that up a little bit with some white paint. There's that vertical again. So one of the things I've been thinking about doing when I have horizontals, um, they're usually down lower. So I've been thinking about trying to do that up higher. I still ended up with a vertical here always trying to take my ideas and things that I see myself doing and break a habit or flip it around. Um, I have a tendency to go really fast, so I slowed down with this, and that was what uh, changed the quality of the marks, I think. Made them more um, vulnerable, as I said. So over here, I got a lot of marks with a brush, I think, and I, I kind of, I like, it's a bit much, all three together, but with the two of them, I like this. Then I got a little splooch of paint from something else that splashed onto it, and I like that too. It landed right in my focal point. So that turned out kind of cool. And then this page by itself also works out. So while all those marks, to me, are a lot all together, when you view all four pages at once, when you look at the two, and then the two, it's not too much. So that's also something interesting to think about. I really like this page. And I like how it continues on. Then look at this page. Oh, so, I don't know, dramatic, fresh, vulnerable, experimental. Love these lines. I like how they're cascading down from the top of the page, too. Oftentimes, I do go up from the bottom. This also is sort of a horizon line, but up high rather than down low. So all things to just consider and wonder about. I like that page. These I really haven't touched up much. This one, this one is interesting for me. I almost hit that with more paint. But it's different. It's different for me, that very linear, um, sort of um, uniform, almost, mark. It's the same uh, width from top to bottom, even though the water kind of trickled off and made it a little bit different. But it's a nice contrast to this very spontaneous, uh, very organic line. So I left it, and now as I'm looking at it, I really like it. So I learned something else. Not much on this page, and I really like that. I love how this reaches down, and it's sort of reaching to that. It's almost like a, maybe a wave crashing. We don't really know for sure, but it, it makes me question and wonder, and that, to me, is important in art. And then this last page, also interesting. There's that horizontal again. Uh, things are happening mostly in the center of the page, which I have a tendency to avoid, but I think this mark over here and the heaviness of this mark over here bring the weight more to this side of the page, which makes it a little bit more dynamic and interesting. So anyway, that's that concertina, and I'm going to leave it just as it is. I think that that was a really interesting exploration for me. So thank you very much for watching. Um, feel free to like the video, um, sign up. Uh, let's see, follow, follow the, uh, my station for uh, notifications when I upload more videos, and let me know what you think. See you soon.